Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. This one we have forgot to talk about for real. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlow TV. So we've been following closely what's been happening in Akampong amongst the Maroons with this whole Richard Curry, Chief Curry, and the Maroons and situations surrounding such. We're talking about the shootings, we're talking about things escalating, we're talking about security forces encroaching upon the land and having to be turned back. We've seen those videos. So a lot of us are wondering what in the world is going on and all of a sudden all this attention is being given to Chief Curry and the Maroons. I mean, for those of us who've been around for quite some time in Jamaica, we never really heard anything coming out of Akampong. For those of us who are not from that region of Jamaica, it's like some storybook fairy tale about these great people who freed the island of colonial rule or ran the British out of the island because the British could not defeat them because they took to the mountains and they fought and fought and fought and got us to where we are today and they live in that region and it sounds like a storybook thing to us but for those of us who have been around it and around for quite some time this is the first that we've seen this place come under so much attack or so much attention is being given we have to pay close attention right you know there are talks of mining there are talks of someone or people wanting that region of the land in Jamaica. And then comes this. Not under my watch, Holness says no to maroon sovereignty. Now, mind you, a lot of people are under the impression that the maroons are sovereign people, right? And that they should be recognized as such however in case you were wondering like myself yeah prime minister andrew holness has made it clear abundantly clear that the question of sovereignty for maroons in jamaica will not be countenanced under his watch in other words not even bother think about it because them non get no sovereignty. They're not getting any sovereignty. And ain't no such thing on his watch. The question as to whether Maroons should be granted statehood has been raised since 1738. When the Maroons and the British colonists signed a peace treaty that ended the Maroon Wars. They were then given the lands on which they would be allowed to settle in perpetuity that that and the fact that they were allowed some amount of autonomy over time for some maroons meant that they should also be granted sovereignty there has been increasing talks in this regard since the controversial richard curry was elected chief of the akampong maroons now i must stop for a second and say this controversial chief curry what about Chief Curry has been so controversial? I mean, what has he done that has been so controversial? Look into that first and label them or list them in the comment section below and then let's talk about them. But the standing question is, what about Chief Curry has made him controversial? What actions have he has he taken since he became the chief of the Maroons that are actions we can say is controversial? Talk up. And the reason why I'm asking this is because I'm noticing a trend. I'm noticing a trend whenever they're reporting about him. It's always a certain type of language that is used. Let's move on. But that notion was not shut down. That notion was shut down by Holness on Sunday as he responded to a question from a journalist at a Jamaica House media briefing where he declared the violence plagued parade gardens in central Kingston as the latest zones of special operation.
because you know gunshot flying in jamaica like storm breeze and everybody i pick up gunshot right so a new zone of special operation for another volatile area and yes andrew came out recently the right honorable andrew holness recently came out and expressed how distressed he was that he was losing sleep and shedding some tears over the murder situation in jamaica anyhow it was in the same meeting the prime minister was asked whether the government had sought legal advice before discontinuing talks with so-called sovereign maroons and whether his administration should therefore not be derelict in refusing to finance projects in any such territories all right in his response a visibly agitated visibly agitated wholeness as if stop ask my foolishness he says that your question is based on a very dangerous premise listen to this continuing he said jamaica is a unitary sovereign state there is no other sovereign authority in jamaica other than the government of jamaica i want that to be absolutely clear none is what he said all right so for those of us who are thinking all along that yes the maroons govern themselves and they have their own them own court and their own rules and laws up there and all that nope that was all hearsay it's not factual that's not what it is they don't have their own court system and i say this because there are some people out there who do believe that the maroons are a separate land unto itself a separate government unto itself right and they do what they do and the government of jamaica don't mess with them for instance like if something happens they would take a maroon who is caught outside of maroon territory doing crime or something they would take him to a compound to the headquarters and turn him over to governing bodies there that would deal with him i was under the impression that that's how things went for a long time right and many other people were as well and i'm here to tell you that if ever you have doubted or thought that that doubt should be put to rest okay the prime minister when asked if the government sought legal, ad legal advice before discontinuing talks with the so-called sovereign maroons and whether his administration would therefore not be derelict in refusing to finance projects in any such territories in other words give them any kind of assistance or do any business with them he is totally against it in his response visibly agitated he said your question is based on a very dangerous premise is what he told the journalist that asked him this question now ask me no foolishness basically the language continuing he said that jamaica is a sovereign state is a unitary sovereign state and there is no other sovereign authority in jamaica other than the government of jamaica i want that to be absolutely clear none he said and under my leadership not one inch of jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority hmm just in case you weren't clear when he said none he went further on to say and under my leadership not one inch of jamaica will ever come under any other sovereign authority the man said not one inch of jamaica he not talk hectares he's not talking kilometers he's not talking square mileage he might talk about not one inch holness told the journalists that you're asking what you are asking would be for the government of jamaica to take taxpayers money and grant funds to fund another government this is not a government saying that they're a local government a parish council government which is under our constitution 
and he made more for Andre Wright, an editor at the Gleaner Company who posted the question. Are you crazy? Do you know what you're asking? This is the Prime Minister talking, you know. Him say, are you crazy? Do you know what you are asking? This is the stuff of how guerrilla wars come and states break down. Wake up, Jamaica. Don't court foolishness and problems. Okay. In that language, what I ascertained is, especially from where he said, this is the stuff of how guerrilla wars come and states break down as in how a place like Haiti for example how groups rise up and attempt to assassinate the prime minister and our president or whoever is the leader and overthrow them and those kind of things and he is saying that this is the way that these things happen which would tell me that they are looking at those in Akompong, leading authorities in Akompong, like Chief Curry and the rest of whoever his men are or his team or people who work with him, the government of Jamaica, the existing government of Jamaica, to include Andrew Holness's cabinet of the JLP, are probably starting to look at them like terrorists. You understand? Where all this far? Holness added, and he said, people have died as a result of claims of sovereignty. And you expect me to stand here as prime minister and fund activities that could lead to the breakdown of our state? Never! Several people, including children, were shot. One man fatally at last week's annual Maroon celebration. The police warned that no permission had been granted for the annual event to be held, but several government agencies apparently gave the go-ahead for the annual event to take place, despite the spike in COVID cases on the island. Now hear what? Despite the, spike, despite the spike in COVID cases on the island, many other events have taken place on the island as well, right? Not just the Maroon um, Festival that is an annual event. Enough party and enough big dance and all these things were kept, especially in those resorts areas and tourist areas. So, um, and, and that is before and after and during the spike. So, I don't see why there's always an issue like, you know, them did I try shut the thing down. Anyway, right now, I'm taking this particular information from the Observer and their earlier post did not update that information that actually Chief Curry did receive the proper documents, the proper approval to go ahead with the annual Maroon Festival. But right here they said it. The question as to whether the Maroons should be granted statehood has been been raised since 1738 when the Maroons and the British colonies signed a peace treaty that ended the Maroon Wars. So how we end up here so now with Andrew reneging on that part or saying can't happen, nah, go happen. not on my watch and not one square inch of Jamaica. Wow. The police warned that no permission had been granted for the annual event was a screw up on the part of the police because again the observer has now clarified itself by saying that several government agencies apparently gave the go ahead for the annual event to take place. Hmm. On the talk of sovereignty. I want you to leave your comments in the comment section below. Are you aware of the history of the Maroons as it pertains to Jamaica? And also, do you believe that the Maroons are and should be recognized as sovereign people and a state within the country or a state within a state by itself? Or are you saying no to that as well? 
Also, as you can see, the right honorable Andrew Holden says not for it. And the way he answered, let us know that it is just that he is not for it, but he is absolutely and totally against any conversation heading in that direction. So, where do we go from here? I know the Maroons are fighting to be uh, recognized as a sovereign people. They themselves recognize themselves as that. But they would need for the governing body of Jamaica, the main governing body of Jamaica, to recognize that as well. I mean, well, it's the Magado living at the bush. People are saying, hey, Andrew had to come out and say that they aren't sovereign and won't be recognized as sovereign ever. Because once he does that, then the land on which they are um, existing, that land will then become land that belongs to them to the government to for them to do as they wish with it which is sell it to whoever they want to sell it to um bring in miners uh disrupt the ecosystem uh do whatever they want to do with the land really displace the people on the land and so on so forth right dig for gold dig for drill for oil whatever they want to do with it they will be able to do with it once it is not recognized by the leading government or the leading main government of the country as sovereign and that's a gateway in in other words people i say i sell andrew i sell out the land on a member when time um harsh chang says said the same thing and we beat we beat harsh chang and we say yo you need to recognize my youth Mr. Chinaman, you need to recognize because blah, blah, blah. Well, here comes Andrew Holness to say the same thing that Chang said earlier. So, what does this spell to you? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I smell trouble brewing. I smell trouble brewing. Big trouble brewing. Talk up in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next video with SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.